Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? Uh, good evening or good morning. Welcome back to the Yuan Shu slash Sunsei campaign where we are nearing the end. Uh, nearing the end? Not at the end, nearing the end. This should be a really interesting episode. We are about to see what's going to happen in the south with the Kingdom of Wu, uh, where we're fighting also uh, the armies of uh, the remnants of Cao Cao as well. Uh, just a lot of stuff happening in the south right now uh, while we also mop up the north. Just, it's an interesting campaign. From beginning to end, this has been a very, very unique Total War campaign for me. Mm. I just swallowed a piece of ice. All right, uh, let's do it. Uh, I don't know when the end of this campaign will happen. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be this episode. Um... No matter what, we're just something always happens to slow our momentum. Something always happens. This army is desperately retraining. It's going to take them a while to get back. Oh, we just got an off stream sub. Uh, this army is retraining. It's going to be pretty desperate for these guys to come back. Um, there's no real armies nearby. The only army nearby is this one, Taishi Chi. But I think we shouldn't be too afraid of Taishi Chi. I'm not too terrified of him. Uh, over here, we've got uh, this army. We just defeated this one. And this army also just uh, defeated an army. This situation is pretty secure. I also have Sima Yi on the way to deal another blow. I'd like to take Changsha, Changsha, and then hopefully secure my grip over here. And we're sort of tightening the noose in this direction as well. The only setback we've had here is that they retook the Yangzu Toolmaker. So that's going to be frustrating. And up in the north, uh, Sima Yi, or excuse me, Sun Se and this dude, Du Bo, are off wreaking havoc. Uh, and we'll just see how all that goes. All right, we're going to go ahead and end a turn here. I think there's nothing really I can do. I have plenty of money at the moment. Oop, thought audio might crash. All right, uh, let's go ahead and end the turn. Let's see what happens. Really curious about what happens in the south. Hey, that's Simi. I forgot to move Simi. Thankfully, I'd issued that order previously. So it looks like uh, they're coming out of Tai Yuan to attack me. This is uh, not very advisable for them. They are going to die. They are going to die, and I am going to kill them. Let's get it on. This will re this will retake Tai Yuan for me. Hmm. I swear, I don't drink water. And then when I do drink water, I'm like, oh, I'm so thirsty. Either way, one way or the other, we are getting close to the end here. We're getting close. I'm excited. I, after I finish this campaign, I'm not going to do it yet. After I finish this campaign, I am going to uh, do some research. All right, we're going to deploy over this way. I'm going to do some research on the... Um, on the new DLC that just came out. Really curious about the DLC. And we're gonna see what that's like. It's gonna be a while. As After I finish this campaign, it's gonna be a while before I'm gonna be playing a lot of Total War on, on, and recording stuff though, that's for sure. Um, I think I could use the break. I do really love this and I'm really into this campaign, but I've also been going on this campaign for quite some time. So a break would probably be advisable. I hope that the the DLC is like completely different. Like that'd be so cool. <clears throat> Let's go pop these guys into this formation. I don't want to fight in that forest. All right, my men are all grouped up. I've got a lot of G militia here. That was the best thing I could recruit in this army, unfortunately, are these G militia guys. G militias are like the starting crappy spearmen. They are not great. You know, one thing I kind of missed from Shogun 2, I guess it's just not in this game. Uh, in Shogun 2, you could like upgrade your unit's weapons and like upgrade their armor and shit. It was really cool. You could also do that in Medieval 2. Um, let's see. I mean, it's kind of pointless to even scout because there's so much forest. I'm not going to see much anyway. 
so basically in other in other total war games you can like upgrade your various units um can we not, can we not run i guess we can't run probably the trebuchet is making us slow The trebuchets are really, really cumbersome, which totally makes sense. But uh, anyway, in Shogun 2, you can give your units better swords, uh, better armor, better accuracy. Like you could, you could really customize just your individual units. In this game, you can upgrade your units, like level them up and stuff like that, but that's it. Where you can customize your men more in Three Kingdoms, I guess is uh, you can customize your generals pretty hard. And that's super cool. But I kind of wish I could up, I could do that with units too. Oh, there's something interesting to talk about. I really liked in uh, Shogun 2. It was really cool how you could like give your units like crazy accurate. Like if you had archers, you could make them crazy accurate or gunners or give them like fast reload or something. That was really cool. Uh, I think Medieval 2, you could upgrade your units weapons and armor, but I think that was it. Um... I don't really remember anything in Empire Total War. And I'm, I'm I don't know I don't know anything about uh Warhammer. Warhammer is not really uh not really my thing. So sorry if you were waiting for a Warhammer campaign, unfortunately it's probably not going to happen. Still no sign of the enemy. These guys off skirmish mode. <sighs> really hoping this doesn't turn into a game of hide and seek with the enemy. Let's see, let's go ahead and uh, send my cavalry forward here to try to scout a bit. We have no line of sight over these hills. You can see we see nothing in this direction. All right, some enemies have been spotted. A lot of enemies have been spotted. It's like all these warriors of Yi. Yeah, it looks like they're coming up close. They're going to be coming in the trebuchet range uh, relatively soon. I'm going to retreat my horsemen here. Uh, let's go ahead and retreat them now. Have them walk back so they don't get tired. I don't think they're likely to attack me here. And a repositioning my trebuchets. Let's go ahead and run my cavalry back. They got some spearmen coming close. All right, my trebuchets have opened fire. I think on their G militias, uh, we're causing some damage. I'm just gonna let them have at it. All right, as soon as they get in the closer range, we'll start worrying about uh, taking out a, a fast forward. All right, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and target these warriors of Yi here. These two units are protectors of heaven. A lot of cavalry on the left flank. Um, and not just any cavalry. These are uh, real tough ones too. Not sure what the holdup is on their part. Um, they give me lots of extra trebuchet kills. Maybe they're waiting for reinforcements to arrive. I'm gonna keep uh, they're, so they're um, I'm gonna keep my cavalry back on this flank. They have a lot of cavalry in the forest over here. 
want to make sure we are not uh, exposing ourselves for naught. They have any archers? They don't. Their men are routing. We're going to pull back slightly with these three units. My crossbowmen have opened fire. We're going to drop these guys into this uh, formation. We're going to pull back my cavalry one more time. Maybe we can go them into fighting my uh, defenders of heaven or protectors of heaven. If we can get them to go directly into my units of defenders of heaven, that will make this fighting a lot easier. All right, we're going to turn my cavalry around. They're nice and engaged over there. Gonna charge here. Charge this unit. Let's go make sure we get our infantry charges in. Uh, I didn't mean to send that unit in. It looks like we did. We got a big old mess over here. All right, everything appears to be going uh, going according to plan. Uh, routed that unit of Raider Cavalry. All right, we just ran out of trebuchet ammo. Let's see, let's go have uh, go and shoot that unit of mounted Lancer militia over there. general hodgepodge going on on that side i don't really see exactly what's happening uh let's go charge over here the saber militia is going to get sandwiched by two of these units Oof. oh man that guy got decked <laughs> yeah, that saber militia has no chance right, send this cavalry unit over this way Honestly, the Saber, the, the G militias just really aren't that bad at all. They're not incredible, mind you, but they do the job well for the amount of money they cost. They are, well, they're, they're cost effective. That's what we'll say about them. All right, I'm trying. There's like, there's always seems to be one more unit of these Warriors of Yi. I don't know. I, over the course of this campaign, I really don't know how many Warriors of Yi I've had to kill. A lot. The answer is a lot. A nice. Whoa. <laughs> nice cavalry charge in this Warriors of Yi. They just got completely surrounded. Looks like one of my units actually routed. It was a, it was a, a militia over there had routed. All right, this general kind of got hung up in some bullshit. All right, army losses have taken over. This should be the end of the battle for the uh, for the enemy. This should be a nice win for us. Uh, pretty solid overall. Uh, flaming shot will help a lot. Uh, and also I can eventually get rid of these G militias. G militias are okay, but, uh, yeah, they're not something you want to focus. You want, it's not something you want to build your army out of. Most of my men are, are the, are G militias. So, uh, yeah, GG close victory. Tai Yuan. Uh, I think we didn't take it this turn, but next turn it will belong to us. 
they their uh their warriors of Yi units are pretty bulky they're not uh they're no joke i feel like a yuan shao campaign would be pretty fun so i can i could actually i could actually play with those guys uh we captured zu he we could employ him he's 19 years old huh sure man i'll employ you what do you have clay rat i give you a job uh you have to die though sorry <laughs> uh where was that where the hell was that they didn't give me a chance to even see where that was i'm too zoomed in i don't know where i am look at this come on camera holy shit give me a fucking break here i don't know then the camera's like look over here look over here look over here i can't fucking see are right, we getting the iron snake into character rank some diplomacy oh we have trade again that's nice I guess because they lost a territory or something. Okay, somewhere, somewhere in the world, another another army just appeared. I, maybe it was this one, Duchy of Song. Maybe it was this army that just appeared from nothing. Um, let's go ahead and let's take Taiyuan. Their men should be completely defeated. Uh, yeah, they've only got 175 men left. Let's take Taiyuan. 65 losses. They're also got some nice leveling up happening here. All right, we can get, uh, can we get flaming shot? We indeed we can. Yes, that's what we wanted. Okay, got flaming shot with that general. That will help a whole bunch. And this guy leveled up. Let's go ahead and he's got three. Wow, he leveled up three times. Holy crap. Let's get this one. This one. And, uh, say that one. Okay. There's an army over here. Um, they may take Zongshan. I'm not going to redirect si Sima Yi or Sunsei. I'm just going to go ahead and take this city. Um, so absurd. Because we're going to take medium losses. Fuck it. We're just going to delegate. I don't want to fight these battles. 500 losses to, to nothing. I understand. I understand. It's like, well, if you if you want to do better, just take over. But it's like, you know, you know, at this point, do you know how many crappy cities I've taken? Do you know how much shit I've done in this campaign? I'm so over it, dude. <laughs> like, I want to fight the good battles, but my god. Okay, so this army is gonna have plenty of time to retrain, which makes me happy. And Taishi Chi appears to have just kind of vanished. He looked like he was kind of threatening me along the border, but he's just kind of gone now. Uh, this army is retraining. And Sima Yi is about to uh, cross over and make his way to Badong. He just crossed over. He's on his way to Badong right now. And then I'm going to send him in this direction. All right, we've got Ma Chao is here. We can go, I think we can go wipe out Ma Chao. He's got nothing. Yeah, he's got 300 men over here. I'm not sure what Ma Chao is doing. He's Ma, he's Ma dead is what he is. What do we got? We got some garbage. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, this army I'd like to go send to go take Wu Ling, I think, and kind of continue to spread in that direction. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade uh, Yu Zhang over here. I'm going to go put this army into Poyang. I think that will make them train up a little bit faster. Ah, well, we have found Tai Chi Chi. Let's, uh, let's go out of this mode. And let's try to attack Tai Chi Chi. He may get help from the garrison, but that is of no concern of mine. So I think he's actually encamped. Oh, the garrison is pathetic. Okay, I think we have Flaming Shot as well. This is not going to go well for them. The only unfortunate thing is that we do not have... Um, I think we have Flaming Shot. I'm not sure. 
We don't have any men with shields, so that is going to be rough. But otherwise, I think we can put a real nice hurting on Tai Chi Chi right here. I think I remember Tai Chi Chi being a dude in Dynasty Warriors as well. Maybe one of the later ones. I don't know. I don't remember. I haven't played the Dynasty Warriors games in an incredibly long time. I feel like if I played Dynasty Warriors, it probably hasn't aged particularly well. Call me crazy. The reinforcements are arriving from this direction. Let's uh, line up on this side to attack. What's the range like on these towers? All right, so we are well out of range. All right, uh, let's just line up our men over here. Take these guys off of fire at will and turn them on the flaming shot. And let's begin the battle. We're going to burn their settlements by firing first on their buildings. I even have some defenders of Earth of my own in this battle. How well they will serve me is an entirely different question. It's going to be hard to get the fire to spread because for some reason we're attacking in the rain. I don't really know why, but we are. Seems weird that we'd attack in the rain considering we are the attackers. Yeah, the, the rain just the rain just prevents everything from spreading. Alright, that trebuchet has taken out this tower. Uh looks like um hang on. I'm trying to get you to attack this tower. Thank you. All right, I'm kind of thinking we should just ignore these towers and we should just focus uh, all of our fire on their men. The fact that it's raining made this so much more annoying. All right, let's go line up our archers over here. Uh, looks like this unit wants to die. Sure. I will oblige this archer militia and I will kill them. This archer militia has delusions of grandeur, apparently. Uh, my cavalry are on their way. Uh, we might take a couple losses here, but uh, this is going to take a lot of losses. Yikes. Why is it minus speed? Oh, it's, I guess it's charge bonus. Uh, I probably, that was uh, some unnecessary losses. There's the charge speed. There you go. <laughs> that was, uh, that was needless. Uh, my archers are opening fire. Looks like my defenders of earth are actually taking fire. Let's actually pull them back. I don't want them taking fire from bullshit. I think this battle is going to be harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh, 
All right, let's get these men ready to go in. Let's also uh, get these men ready to go in. They've also got bows. Um, we can use their bows. Pretty good effect. We have run out of trebuchet ammo. All right, all those defenders of Earth. Hopefully, what's going to happen is that they charge the shit out of me. And my defenders and my protectors of heaven can just have a field day. Hopefully. Okay, my archers are taking down that Jian sword guard. Uh, that is a pretty good target for us to get rid of. We're going to uh, cease fire on that unit. Yeah, there's their general. Yeah, it's amazing how quickly your archers just completely run out of ammo. We'll put them back on fire at will. Let's go run in our protectors of heaven. And we'll let them do the, the dirty work up here. If you ever wanted a frontline unit, I feel like defenders of heaven is uh, your go-to. Please try to shoot this archer militia. These guys are in spear wall now. I'm going to try to move in these guys over here. Trying to uh, eliminate their archers wherever I can. Oh, uh, these have too many archers. Um, all right, my defenders of Earth have got here. We're going to let them open fire with their flaming arrows and hopefully uh, give the uh, AI a taste of their own medicine here. Are my arrows hitting my own fucking men? It sure looks like it. I'm shooting my own goddamn men. What? No, 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 no. What are these archers doing? Shit. Well. All right, I think we shot some of my own protectors of heaven in the back with the defenders of earth. Look at how fast these guys rack up the kills, man. We're at 100 kills already somehow. This is like the sneakiest goddamn unit in the game. Like you don't even realize what's happening and they've killed like 100 men. To 170. I wonder how many kills are they going to have by the end of this? All right, let's go pull these archers back. The 278 kills. Holy shit. Three? Oh my god. They're more effective than a goddamn trebuchet? Are you fucking serious? I am disgusted by my own fucking unit. Oh my god. Well, they ran out of ammo. Holy shit. 522 kills. I think maybe that's a little excessive. Holy shit. 
All right, let's go get our cavalry over on this side. They're going to send them in through this gate. That is fucking insane. They got more kill. That unit got more kills than both of my trebuchets combined. What exactly is an oil arrow anyway? <laughs> like, do they mean like a flaming arrow, like an exploding arrow or something? Is that what they're trying to say? Those look more effective than fucking guns, in my opinion. Just send these guys back. Part of me is thinking I just kind of let this grind out and not send in my cavalry. Sending in my cavalry probably just caused me a lot of losses here. You can just watch the carnage. Man. 522 kills on one of these units. Yeah, that's a little bro. That I, I stand by what I said earlier. That unit is broken. That unit is way too strong. Needs a nerf, in my opinion. We're just kind of carving through these guys. Want to see some death? Zero dragons are racking up the kills. Show me a cool death. Kill this guy right here. How is this guy going to die? There he goes. He just got yeeted. <laughs> All right, let's actually take him out of this. And we'll have them charge here forward. Pull them out of this. Charge here. We'll uh, assign a little bit of a push here with my infantry. Let's go ahead and run my men in. And uh, we can rear charge, take their gate, go after Tai Chi Chi. Cool, cool. I just saw a headless body fall right over there. <laughs> yeah, the Protectors of Heaven are just kind of turning into this into a meat grinder. Azura Dragon's got a ton of kills on their own, too. I don't know how. Somehow they still have a unit of archers over here that hasn't been attacked. So I wonder if you're using the wedge formation, maybe you should use it right at the end before your charge so you don't you don't lose any speed on the way up. Oh, that's some fast units, man. The army losses have taken over. They've just got a massive route going on now. GG. And 522 kills on that unit, dude. Pretty insane. That's a. Uh, I, I think it's a good question. How many how many kills does a unit deserve to get? Like the defenders of heaven were an ex like the the archer unit at the bottom right there. They were an expensive unit. Did they deserve to kill half a thousand men on their own? I don't know. I'd say probably not. Right? Maybe like two or three hundred if used well. They also took no losses either. It just seems really imbalanced to me. Uh, and I mean, it worked in my favor this time, but all the same. Looks like we wounded Tai Chi Chi. Um, actually, this army is pretty much in perfect shape after that battle. Uh, apparently, this guy is not happy. He says he really wants a higher core position. I have no higher core position to get him. Do I have anything that gives him higher satisfaction? Authority, instincts, passion. Looks like nothing will give him satisfaction. 
eight satisfaction. Do I have any? Do I have any of these guys that would give him satisfaction? No. I mean, I don't know, man. This would enable discipline and his retinue. Um, more resolve, more resolve. Probably one of these would be the most useful. Let's go ahead and give him this for more resolve. I wish I could do something. So give more expertise, uh, more cunning. Honestly, more cunning is the best thing. Let's go ahead and get the ranged armor damage here and more cunning and expertise. Is there anything I could do in my court? Is there anything I could do? Oh, I need a... Oh, that's because Zhao Yu just died. That's right. So can I make this fucking guy happy? Yeah, sure. Put that guy there. Make him, maybe they'll shut him up. Okay, well, at least he's happy now. Yeah. He's happy, at least. Cool. Whatever. Maybe that'll shut him up for a bit. All right. Uh, right. Let's see. Gain some ancillaries. Character ranks. Friends. Commandary secured. Killed in battle. Killed in battle. Killed in battle. A duel. And we've appointed that guy as Grand Director. So this army fought a 2v1 over here after defeating another army. And that army just... This army just got... Pretty brutally fucked up. Uh, we took Lu Ling, but we kind of that that place is kind of on the moon right now. To be honest, not really much we can do there. Uh, where is Sima Yi? Okay, so I think we're about to end a turn here. We can do there. Um, this army's retraining. Sun Se just took Dai. Uh, I think the only thing left to do is what do we do with this army? Oh, I think uh, these armies are also ready to go. Yeah, these armies are pretty much good to go. You can go attack the Long Yi Copper Mine. Let's go attack here, strike out against Cao Cao. Let's, uh... We're going to starve them out. I'm sure to bring this army over here. Can they uh, reinforce now? They can. Okay, so this now that we get now that we've ganged up on him, we can just delegate this. I think. Uh, I don't really feel like fighting this. These lengthy sieges are just very tedious, so we're not going to do that right now. We gained we gained a robe. All that work we gained a robe. Hey, look, we got you. We got you new clothes, buddy. <laughs> we got you a new shirt. like uh this guy has leveled up we'll go ahead and give him uh more endurance we'll give him that sure all right i think i need to get this army all the way back down so we're gonna start the long march here because i need to go take uh the yangzu toolmaker back unfortunately it's gonna be a long march because I'm thinking we can wrap up this, the battles here against these people pretty soon. There's not that many. There's not that many settlements left up there. This army will be back to full strength soon. So yeah, we got a lot of pro we got a lot of momentum going. Probably take the Yuzang livestock farm, and we're gonna just have to wipe out Cow Cow as well. Probably. I really was hoping I wouldn't have to do all this. You know, like I was really hoping it wouldn't come to that. Uh, I could potentially fight this, but I feel like I'm just going to delegate. I'm too lazy. They probably took more losses just by just by doing that than if I fought it. Whoa, that is the least helpful camera angle I have ever seen. <laughs> uh, I don't know where that Kingdom of Wu army just came from. Were they in cow territories over there? All right, let me go deal with the siege by the yellow terms. Man, we have a. I think when we got trade back with Wan Min Lan, dude, we are making a shitload of money now. Holy shit! Let's go deal with this. This is uh, delegate, easy win. 
Yep, this is like a full army in this city. Just ransom them off, make a little extra money. Uh, we gained another horse. Killed some yellow turbans. It's a good day. Uh, so right here, I think we're going to go take the Yuzang li Livestock Farm. Yeah, they have nothing to stop us. Let's go ahead and delegate this one. Not that this settlement... Oh, we lost one guy. <laughs> Not that this settlement is particularly va valuable, but... Uh, all the same, we'll take it. All right, this army is almost back to strength. Let's send this army in this direction. I hate to kind of throw it well. It'd be really dangerous to do that. Especially while they're retraining. I guess we're just going to leave it. I don't think uh, I don't think they're going to attack. If they attack one of my settlements, they attack one of my settlements. All right. After the long march, Sima Yi has finally arrived here in Badong. Which is nice. If I go take the Fu Ling rice paddy over here, I've actually linked up my territory with Wan Min Lan, which would be pretty cool. Um, let's go, let's go begin edging our way this way. They're still retraining. I don't want to send them in just too soon. Holy crap. That is a lot of defenders of earth. Remember that unit? Remember that unit I just had recently that killed, <laughs> they killed how many men? Why does this have an eye there? Is that a spy or something? I'm not sure what that means. Uh, this is a really, really precarious situation I'm in here. I think I may just wait that out. I don't really feel a strong desire to go attack over there. Okay, this army is now ready to enter March. So we can actually get this army closer to Yangzhou sooner and only take them a few turns to get there. We've actually got a fair number of Duchy of Song armies here. There's like three on screen that I see. Right, they have an army here in this livestock farm. Uh, I think I just got flaming shot. Did I not? All right, let's go send uh, Sun Se to go take Zong Shan. I may have to fight this depending on the garrison. Uh, no, I don't think I need to fight this. They have a tiny garrison here for some reason. Let's go take Zong Shan. Yeah, only 24 losses. That's nothing. Really, really puny settlement here. Uh, let's go ahead and pay for doctors, because why not? We're, we're rich anyway. Let's actually, uh, while we have uh, the time, let's see if we can swap out some of these units here. So this unit can't, this guy can't get any better infantry here. What about this guy? You leveled up, right? Ah, this guy can now get uh, rapid tigers. Let's go replace some of these guys with rapid tigers. Rapid Tigers are stupid expensive. Let's go get a Defenders of Earth in that. Well, actually, no. Hang on. Let's make that all Rapid Tigers. Then we'll... I guess we'll keep these G Militia for now over here. Uh, this guy just leveled up. Let's go ahead and up the firing rate. Man, that's really going to hurt. This I can't... I'm still upset that Zhao Yu died. Still very upset about that. Not happy, dude. Yeah, so there's one, two armies here, and then there's this third one here. We're going to have to do something over there pretty soon. Let's see. How is the situation here? We just took the Jianyi Copper Mine from the AI, from the, from the Cow Cow. Um, 
That's their capital, their new capital of Shindu. Their capital changes every time I take one. We'll go send this army over this way to Jianyi, I suppose. So if I were to go attack Yangzu, it wouldn't take me long to get there. It wouldn't take me too long. So maybe we could actually get there pretty soon. They're going to be pretty strong when we get there. That might be a really tough battle, actually. We adopted a wait and see sort of uh, approach over there. Uh, Sima Yi's here. He's ready to start take, uh, fucking shit up. And I think... I think we are good. How is Nan Yang doing? Let's go ahead and upgrade Nan Yang to an imperial city, because why not? Let's upgrade uh, Lo Yang to a larger city, and let's upgrade this place to a larger city. We got the money. Let's see, we can upgrade uh, this place too. Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade a lot of cities this turn. We have the money. Let's spend it. Let's also take a look diplomacy wise. It'd be really nice if I could get peace with somebody. Uh, let's see. Duchy of Wei, would you want peace? Like they almost do. See, they're at plus. This is a lie. It actually says plus uh, or minus 13.1, which really isn't that bad. It's really not that bad. Uh, let's go ahead and close. That's really the only people I'm interested in peace in. All right, I guess let's uh, end another turn here. Like Dong is under siege. We may lose Dong over there. All right, I am being attacked by that army that had all those defenders of earth and all those gnarly units. Um, it's better to be at, uh, defending than attacking that, I think. I guess let's go ahead and start the battle. Uh, over here in Wuling, small city. One, two, three, four units of defenders of heaven. That is a lot. And this army is not particularly strong either. They only have two units of regular archers, so... I guess that's in, in favor of us. My crossbowmen should have a nice field day with them. What on earth is this map? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh my god. Why, when I'm defending, why must I have the weirdest maps I've ever seen? Why is that the rule? Every time without fail. It is always the weirdest map. I've ever seen this is gonna really suck here because i'm not gonna have a good line of sight on the enemy either maybe um i almost wonder so like let's say i have all my men here i think all of my units except this one were all hidden now that unit's hidden. So I'm wondering if I could just like YOLO charge right away. Like they might walk towards me here. I want to get them in melee pretty much as fast as I can. So maybe I could bait them like this they'll see these men and then they won't see any of these and we can just bum rush them right as they cross let's try it <laughs> so if they come through this forest man are they I, we see a cavalry unit already oh my god is this gonna work So the idea of doing this is that we can just negate their defenders of heaven, defenders of earth, and we're just going to get into melee combat literally as fast as we can. Maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> 
Maybe this is a bad idea. Alright, we're gonna send my cavalry over this way. Okay. All my men are still hidden. Like, they're like, something's fishy here. We're getting shot. They actually are shooting us. I guess some of my units were not hidden. Well, that's bad. All right, charge, charge. <laughs> charge. Charge. Okay, cavalry is coming up already. Those are my trebuchets in the background. Trying to get my cavalry into, into battle over here. So I'm either a genius or an idiot. I think I might be an idiot. <laughs> I think I might have just thrown my men into their into their clutches sooner and caused a lot more damage because of it. Like I probably should have just spent just let my trebuchets do what they're going to do and not let the defenders of earth do any of this. But in the end, it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. Okay. Yeah, I think we are this general is defeating this one it says he's unbreakable uh, I'm not sure where my trebuchets are even firing to be honest Okay, please kill this Defenders of Earth. At least charge them so they can't fire anymore. The commander just refuses to go down. That Defenders of Earth is pretty much down. Um... I'm not sure why they're shooting that. I know why they're doing that over there. I mean, I don't know if this was the smartest battle I've ever done, but it was definitely fun. <laughs> it was definitely fun. I'm not sure there is a way a really good way to stop Defenders of Heaven from getting their kills. I'm not sure that is a possible thing. All right, army losses have taken over. Man. <laughs> that was a... That was a that was a stupid battle, but my God, that battle was, was fun. Just ran, we just ran right up on them. 
Um, I think the spear warriors are pretty good. I think they're pretty good. Uh, I think they're a very, I think they're like an offensive spear unit. It makes sense because they they don't have shields and stuff. Pyrrhic victory. <laughs> oh man. Well, only really two of their units got a lot of kills. That was two of the units of Defenders of Heaven. So what are you gonna do? It probably would have been a lot better if I just sat back with my trebuchets, but I get tired of that. I feel like I've done that like 80% of the battles in this campaign. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty gnarly, pretty, pretty gnarly battle overall. Let's go ahead and recruit. Well, it's a good thing I didn't attack or move out over there because there was another Kingdom of Wu army lurking. There's actually three Kingdom of Wu armies kind of lurking around there. I need that army to get back in shape pretty much as fast as it can. All right, we are under siege at Dong, right? We gained a horse. Uh, people of Merit, Clay Ox. Alright. So this army is ready to go. Let's go move them towards uh, Zongshan. Oh, what happened to the... Oh, there's the army. I was wondering what happened to them. So I probably didn't need both of these armies here. Oh, we're gonna have to, we're probably gonna lose Dong because of that, unfortunately. Um, so I kind of split my forces here and uh, that might come back to bite me. So we're gonna attack there and we're going to, uh, I guess I'm gonna send this army back across the river here. And they're going to go attack the Yangzhou Toolmaker. So that leaves this army. I could send this army and they could get over to Dong pretty soon. I think we're going to have to send this army in this direction. That's going to be their fastest route, I guess. Alright, they should be there soon. I have yet to see these heavy spear guards in action. I've yet to use them once. Alright, Sima Yi is here. Uh... See, I've got, there's another army over here. Is this the army I just defeated? No, that's not the army I just defeated. This is a, this is an entirely different one. That was, I think this is the army. Yeah, that's the army I just defeated. So I could go send this army to go attack this one. Um, they have a lot of defenders of heaven. It'd be nice to get the drop on these guys and try to clear them out. Let's go move. Um... So Changsha is actually an imperial city. That's a no joke city either. We're going to move Sima Yi this way just a tad. So we can He can retrain one more turn uh, just to get these cataphracts back to full strength. This army is back. This army is back to full strength. Are you ready for electric uh, round two electric boogaloo and fight both of these armies at once? We're going in. I'm going in. This is the army that got fucked up. They're going to get their revenge. God damn it. All right. We're only fighting two. And we're only outnumbered three. We're not, out, we're not outnumbered two to one over two to one. We're only outnumbered uh, a little bit and their army is all kind of fucked up. We're going to uh, start this battle. I could night battle it. No, we're not gonna, well, that'd be minus. Well, I mean, we're gonna, if I do night battle, we're definitely gonna win. We're going to do this one. We're going to fight both armies at once. I'm not concerned about their morale. By the way, this is going to be a lot more. This is going to be a lot more fair of a battle than the previous one was where this army got completely annihilated. That's for sure. <laughs> that is for sure.
I should consider uh, splitting out this army. So they're gonna they're gonna be desperate to reinforce here. All right, let's just uh, we'll just. I don't know if they're going to attack us. Let's just start the battle. I don't think that they will. Do we have flaming shot? Yes. Let's go move those men here. Time for my salty vengeance. Okay, uh, army's moving into position. Let's turn these guys off of skirmish. Trebuchets will take a wee bit of time to get over there. I probably want my trebuchets not within these trees. Let's go put one trebuchet here. One trebuchet here. I don't want to set these trees on fire. They're looking rather smug and satisfied. I like these maps with water. I think the water adds a cool element to the battles. I like that. Let's see, level 10 warriors of the left. And these guys are fucking badass. I wonder how many different face models they have. Sometimes it felt like in Shogun 2 and other games, they had literally one face for the entire game. <laughs> it often felt that way. It looks like they're moving forward a bit. Mm, maybe that was just my eyes playing tricks on me. Well, this army's got a hell of a terrain to navigate. Look at this shit. My God. Climbing over these. Look at these rocks and shit. Like a little stream. Look at this terrain they're climbing over. I feel like why are the maps why are the maps in the south of the total like I don't know if the maps are generated based on where they are on the on the campaign map like you'll get more mountainous maps if you're in the south or something like that it seems like the maps in the south are way cooler than the maps in the north like the maps in the north felt like they were all farmland and shit I don't know maybe they just seem really cool to me because I haven't I haven't been playing there the entire campaign <laughs> maybe that's why all right, we're going to be in range soon. Maybe once they start getting trebuchet, they'll decide to attack me. All right, let's go ahead and inch these guys forward. Inch this trebuchet forward. Inch these units forward. Trying to inch into range here. Alright, trebuchet is opening fire. I don't know what will goad them into attacking, if anything. For these units, anyway. Jian sword guards. Sure, I'll let you shoot at those. No hits on that one. <laughs> nice shots. I don't know if they're ever gonna. They may never move forward. Did you 
士兵正在溃逃。I'll take those men off of fire at will. Oof. Because I want to save some ammo for this much larger army coming in. The first army was considerably weaker than the second one. Let's actually fast forward. I'm not going to waste more ammo. I've already used almost a quarter of my ammo. Yeah, this 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 main force is the one I'm more concerned about. Aha. Looks like they have decided to move forward. Let us resume fire. Fire on these Jian sword guards over here. Uh, real quick. We'll get some lucky shots. All right. Pretty nice shots there. Now I'd like you guys to redirect your fire uh, in this direction. It's really cool that we're able to get vengeance on this, these armies. It is another flood of enemies, but that's okay. Go we'll fire in that direction. A lot of G militias. Uh, they do have some defenders of Earth. Be cautious about them. Trying to spread the fire a little bit so I can weaken a number of their units. Some real nice shots too. What are we down to? We're down to about half ammo on that trebuchet. A little bit more, a little bit less on that one. Jeez, there's a unit of Jian sword guards. Let's go weaken them up good. Oh. It's a little bit, it gives me a little bit of anxiety to watch this just like tidal wave of enemies show up. <laughs> Makes me anxious. But their army is definitely a lot scrappier and uh, and messed up. The previous time they were at full strength when I fought them. More Jian sword guards in the rear line there. As many of these Jian sword guards as I could kill off the bat, the better. There is a large, a large amount of generals all over there. All right, let's go charge these units. I think we ran out of trebuchet ammo on that one. This one is about to run out of trebuchet ammo.
I think we routed their forces over in that direction. So we have a pretty clear line. Let's go charge those defenders of heaven. Try to get in there literally as fast as we can. We're going to pull back these uh, men in this direction. So when I get swamped by their cavalry over this side. We're going directly for that Defenders of Heaven unit. Even if I could just maul that unit and make them not as combat effective, that's a pretty good trade in my opinion. Go charge Lin Gong over here to make sure he's not doing anything. We got to stay away from that unit of uh, Protectors of Heaven over there. The Defenders of Heaven is almost combat ineffective. Uh, let's go charge this way. Go bring a charge over here. Um, charge there. I think the battle's going well. Um, Probably a few spots that we're, uh, we're not doing as well as we could be. Go shoot this unbreakable general. The sooner we get rid of this guy, the better. Fighting out these Jian sword guards right here. I hope I don't lose that general right there. Alright, we're going to go charge this... Uh, actually, we're going to charge that unit right there. Okay. Hard to keep track of everything that's going on. Doing my best. This unit's just broken. Oh, it looks like the army losses took, took over. Uh, I think all that's left is their uh, this Zhang Chu guy. Well, this is some nice, this is some sweet, sweet vengeance on these armies. These armies, we we literally killed the army that killed the, our army. Uh, perfect, perfect revenge here. And this was not an easy battle either. They outnumbered us. Uh, they had considerable number advantage on us. That's a, that's a nice win. Go charge on that protective heaven, do some damage on them. Uh, I don't want to hunt them down like crazy, but we'll do our best. Let's see, 63, 55, 111 kills, 50, uh, 121. This general got 303 kills. Trebuchet's got a lot of kills. Crossbowmen, archers all did their part. Is this general still not dead? This general is still not dead. Unbreakable. All right, go send these two units of cavalry that way. Gives me time to mop up these protectors of heaven with this general. I wonder if killing this killing defenders of protectors of heaven. Does that give me more like points or something? I wonder. There we go. That was the last, that unbreakable general. Like, I wonder, did, did these units count for more, I guess? Let's see. Do I want to hunt these units down? They're at 32. 
And anytime I could take away a unit of protections of heaven from the AI, I feel like I probably should, right? Let's just fast forward it. Wait till that unit just completely disappears and then we'll uh, claim victory. Oof. Tough, tough battle. Still managed to win. Swords got a little fucked up, I think, by uh, some cavalry charges. It kind of always happens when you have swords. All right. GG. Claim victory. Close victory for our men. So that was two Kingdom of Wu armies that we just uh, we just annihilated. There we go. Pop the head right off. 651 losses, 2,695 kills. Pretty, uh, pretty fucking impressive. Pretty wild. We gained a book. <laughs> uh, Jia Da. You know what, Jia Da? Uh, execute. Zhang Mi, execute. Xiao Yang, execute. Uh, let's recruit to get my uh, numbers back up because there's another army coming in. There's, uh, so there's another army here. This army is pretty weak at the moment. And I kind of doubt that they're going to attack me like right away. So I'm not sure if I'm too worried about that. Uh, do I have anything that gives more cunning expertise? Nothing that gives more cunning. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and get patience for this guy. I mean, really, we may as well just do this, right? Or maybe destroyed if it loses the battle. Let's just do a night battle. Delegate this one. Other head popped right off. Two losses. There we go. Does that really recu recuperate my men by 4%? That seems absurd. Oh, either way, that army did some real damage. They they so they lost that battle, but they still they put a real a real big hurting on them too. All right, there's another cow army over here. Let's go attack them and destroy them. I don't want them escaping. Oh wow, this is Tai Chi Chi as well. Uh, let's go delegate this one, and they're all dead. Teach you to fucking betray me. All right. Well, we destroyed the faction. We destroyed the faction leader of the Duchy of Wei. All right. So that army is on its way that way. This army is on its way that way. I feel like that was a. I feel like that was a productive turn. Oh, I didn't even see the the ancillaries I got. I, I usually take a look at those. Oh well. All right. And Sima Yi hasn't even arrived yet. Um. This army is going to retrain. I think the only thing left I could do this turn is maybe go attack this army. Um, and I'd like to go take Fu Ling at some point to go. Uh, I could also take these two. Is this all that they have, Fong Liang? So we could actually wipe out Fong Liang pretty soon, it seems like. Nobody wants peace or anything. As as is pretty standard. All right, let's go ahead and end this turn. I'm not going to attack over there. That's enough battles in one, don't you think? All right, I am being attacked over here. Soon Sei is being attacked. It's not, you know, soon you think they'd learn their lesson after attacking Soon Sei. Although we no longer have uh Zhao Yu. We lost Zhao Yu. So uh, that's unfortunate. So my men, I'm going to have less ammo and my archers are just not going to be as good. <sighs> this guy, I, this guy's got a fucking dorky face too. I don't like him. <laughs> we'll manage somehow. All right. What do you got for me? Thankfully, the other two generals have still survived. This chick, I forget. I never remember her name. Uh, and my faction leader is still alive. Hey, 
Okay. Their reinforcements have arrived. Put cataphracts on this flank. Uh, Sunsei and a unit of cataphracts on this flank. Turn these guys off of skirmish mode. And I think we can go ahead and fast forward to get this battle over with just a little bit sooner. Trying to move up my crossbowman just a bit. <gasps> did they lose? Why did they lose the shield formation? Oh, did I remove the thing? The spear guards don't have the shield formation. Well, that's not good. I wonder why that's not a thing. Maybe I removed the military expert from this, uh, from this general. Is that what it was? The military expert? I can't remember. Oh, that's a shame. All right, enemy army is approaching. We are ready. Jays are ready to go. Yeah, these spear guards. These are all level 10 spear guards too. I think is everything in this army level 10? I think like everything is level 10. This general, she's level eight, Dong Li. This guy is not level eight though. He, we, we just, we just, we literally just recruited him. This would have been a great battle for the shield wall. I don't know why we don't have it. All right, let's go ahead and put it back in here. Oh, we don't even have fucking flaming shot. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Fuck me. Man, I'm missing Zhao Yu. 52 years old, he died. 50 fucking two. Ungoddamn believable. fire in that direction uh they've got cavalry only on one flank they do have a lot of generals and if we have to take an actual city uh with uh with this it's going to be really rough until we get flaming shot All right, let's go uh, attack these men. They're moving into the forest here. I like how my army just suddenly forgot how to do the shield formation. It isn't like they were doing it forever. Just because that guy died, they don't, they now just completely forgot something they've done 10 million times before. So I know that there's, there it is. So that means I'm going to get a cavalry charge. I think the line of sight's are pretty busted in, uh, in forests. It's honestly pretty fucking busted. Like that's how close I had to be to see them. It seems a little ridiculous. All right, let's go charge with this unit. We're going to charge right here. I don't know where that archer militia is going. Charge. Charge. Unfortunately, we have to charge because we don't have the... We don't have our awesome perks. With the shield, uh, the turtle formation. That means we're going to mix it up in melee a whole lot more. 
We got caught by these spearmen on this side. Uh, these crossbowmen might get shot quite a bit. Oh, man. Boy. What happened to this army, man? What the hell happened with this army? This army, uh, this army got considerably weaker, didn't they? Our noble brother is... Well, I've never heard that before. What does that mean? Did he die or something? Go charge this warriors of Yi unit. Nice rear charge from cataphracts. I've literally never heard that that notification before. <laughs> that must be. I wonder if that's new. Alright, I think like every one of their generals has routed by now. Let's go move these cataphracts out this direction. Let's go charge this archer militia. Go charge these spear warriors here and behind with these cataphracts. Okay, definitely a bloodier battle than I'm accustomed to, especially with uh, my faction leader. I think it just goes to show how good this army was with the setup I had. And, uh... We kind of lost that setup when uh, some people died, and yeah. I think I moved an ancillary off this off this unit. I think I like moved some unit off here. I'm not sure which one it was. I'm gonna go check it out. Well, GG. Maybe we got our some experience from doing all this shit. Hard to say. Uh, claim victory. Oh, man. Yeah, I got to check out the chick in this army uh, to see if I can make her get the shield wall back. I don't know why they just suddenly forgot how to do shield wall. <laughs> it seems ridiculous. <laughs> that warrior's a left unit got 109 kills and took 13 losses. That is no joke. <clears throat> Five hundred and eighty-six losses. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, execute. Book of ceremonies. Execute. And recruit. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, where the hell is this? Oh, this is Dong. Okay, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna take it from me. Go ahead. I guess I never built up a garrison in Dong. Is that a... No, it's my army. Okay. Let's see. What do you got for me? Kingdom of Wu. Um, They really think they can win this? I guess I'm going to retreat. We're going to try retreating. So they've got uh, two armies coming in. I probably just delegate. Kingdom of Wu is going to retake this. Uh, this was the first settlement I took over here. Um, po Yang Iron Mine. I'm going to let him have it. I've got an army right here. Although now the annoying part is that that army is no longer retraining. But nothing I can do about that right now. Looks like Shihi is under attack from Yellow Turban Rebels. So we lost Dong. We lost Po Yang. Just uh, delegate this one. Free money for us. Not that we need it. And I really should uh, consider ending this episode. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this since we have so many rebellions over there. Let's take a look here. What? Uh, you've got the herdsmen.
Huh. I don't know why she suddenly lost it. Why why did these men suddenly forget how to do that, right? Doesn't that seem strange? All right, we're going to go attack here. Uh, we'll just delegate this one out. Seems really weird to me. All right, destroyed the Duchy of Song army there. Let's go ahead and occupy. Yeah, I'm, I have no idea why that occurred. Dubo has leveled up. Um... We're going to remove the military expert from this guy because that guy knows turtle. Let's give this guy this instead. It's eight authority. Temeral when attacking. Let's go ahead and give him that. And now maybe we can give this chick that one. We can't do it this turn, but next turn we can. Uh, let's see. So right now she's doing this gives her plus four resolve. Does that have anything better? Give her uh let me give her nah just, let's, we should probably just keep it the way it is. <laughs> we'll keep it as is. Looks like this guy leveled up. Um do we have Oh this will give me flaming shot. That's a start. Let's go do that. This guy needs a lot of work. Anything that gives more cunning? No, of course not. All right, so that's going to have to be where that situation sits for now. Uh, I've got this army on its way there. This army is going to go retake Dong. Oh, they can't reach it this turn. But they are on their way. I wish I could get heavy spear guards in that other army. Let's go retake uh, Jian Yi. Or, well, let's, we actually never own Jian Yi. Let's go take Jian Yi. Of course, they're giving the AI a way better chance than they deserve. Not worth fighting. Let us occupy. Okay, this guy leveled up. Go ahead and give him uh, cunning, I guess. It's nice to have more uh, archer ammo for those dudes. Kind of, we'll go ahead and give this guy instinct. And we're ready to go attack here at Yang Zhu. It's going to be rough, dude. You know how many times I've had to take Yang Zhu? What's the army like at Yang Zhu? A lot of militia. Uh, I'm actually more scared of the garrison than I am of the men. Let's starve them out and force them to come out to fight me. I don't want to attack their walls and shit. I definitely don't want to do that. So I can't remember if they had another army here somewhere. I'm going to move back across the border here to retrain a bit. We need this army to get back over here sooner. We're going to pop them in the force march. Move them this way. Uh, ooh, and Sima Yi is ready to roll over here. Oh, man. I kind of want to go take Chang Sha. So this is where we just retreated from these guys. Can I go attack this army? We do have night battles. Let's go attack this army. We're going to attack them in night battle. And then just wipe them out. Because they can't stop me. 98 losses and we just got rid of them for good. And uh, let's move back over this way. So now we're back retraining and we just wiped out that army for free. Could actually go try to take the fooling rice patty over here. Uh, it could be nice to do that because that would be kind of supporting my allies. Let's go. Let's go YOLO this way and see if we can see what's going on at fooling. So it looks like Fu Ling's got nothing, and they can't stop us at all. Let's go uh, attack and take Fu Ling. We're really picking up some some steam here. A lot of settlements falling to us right now. 
Maybe we're finally reaching critical mass here. Uh, flaming shot is this way. Let's go get precision here for those men. All right. Um... Got an enemy army on its way over here. Actually, gonna uh, unspeakable as it is, I'm gonna keep Sunsei over here. We're gonna cower a little bit and re wait for them to retrain. I think losing just just Sunsei's army just took too many hits all at once. So they're probably gonna come on and attack me over there. I guess uh, we're gonna wait a turn. And if I wait a turn, like half these men are gonna come back. Fuck it. I'm gonna go attack Po Yang and take it back. Yeah. Let's delegate this one out. That was totally worth it. Okay, we took that. Uh, this army can retrain, hopefully, uh, and get back to shape pretty quickly. I don't think there are any armies nearby. At least I'm hoping there are not. Okay. Let's see all this bullshit. We have a rebellion in Dong Lai. These are all the. These are all the. <laughs> This is all the stuff we gained. Officer, Rangers outfit, a whole bunch of shit we gained. Settlement lost, contested, sieges and blockades, completed some cities, killed in battle, killed in battle, killed in battle, killed in battle, killed in battle. Killed in battle. <laughs> Ranks, killed in battle, killed in battle. Found this here, killed in battle, killed in battle, killed in battle. Killed in battle. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, I guess the last thing to do here is, uh, man, even still, like, after all the after all the, the area I've taken out of them, they still have all this territory here. It's such a large area I have to get through. Yeah, we definitely picked up some steam tonight, but uh, we're still just not there yet. Wow, it's already midnight here. All right, um, unfortunately I'm gonna have, let's go move Sima Yi this way towards Changsha. Okay, so they have nothing here to stop us. It says we're gonna take medium losses. This is a joke. Um, they also have no Bastion artillery. All right, we're gonna, this will be the end. I didn't know if they were gonna have a large garrison here. It looks like they have fuck all. But uh, we're going to end with taking this. So once we've, when we've got, Wan Min Lan has been a steady ally. As long as Wan Min Lan doesn't attack us or betray us, we've actually got a pretty stalwart uh, flank there. And that'll give us a lot of room to push down and not worry about what's happening to our west. That's going to be really nice. Man, Sima Yi, it is so nice to have you here and your army. Like, your army's gone through some bullshit of its own. We had those traitors. I don't know whatever happened to those traitors. We had fucking traitors in our midst. All right, start the battle. Let's go bombard the walls. It's so nice to have, like, a fully strength army without any bullshit going on. Where is CBE? There he is. Pimp ass hat, sick ass beard, fan to cool him to keep himself cool. What a G, man. <laughs> what do those mean? I mean, they're full on ammo. I don't know what that means, actually. They were taking down their walls. That'll do some good damage to their uh, crossbowmen. Looks like they have on the walls, too. Crossbowmen and archers. Let's go attack the tower here. Let's go attack this tower.
Well, these are those heavy spear guard dudes. Looks like that tower is burning. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, start trying to fire this archer, I guess. Actually, let's uh, center our fire on this on this tower. That tower is about to go up in flames. That tower is now up in flames. Let's go aim my men over here. not hitting we didn't hit this tower like at all nobody hit this tower are we serious Just hit the tower come on there we go what the hell we actually shoot the barricade here uh well they're on the other side of the barricade so it wouldn't really help them much anyway let's actually shoot the gates all right let's go bring up my archers here too and advance my gn sword guards uh they are in shield wall i will protect them at least somewhat uh, let's go fire this fort wall actually There's a lot of men on this fort wall. We can quickly take it out with all my men. We can kill like all of their archers, I think. Fire is spreading inside. wall is about to go down you're go shoot this wall too why not My Jan sword guards are getting close. Uh, shield wall is really, uh, I mean, it's helping them quite a bit, I think, honestly. Go shoot those spear guards, archers. Those are routing. They're completely annihilated. Here, go shoot those heavy spear guards, trebuchets. Use the last year ammo there. We pretty much opened just a hole, in, a complete hole in their wall right here. All right, my GN sword guards have met theirs. We're going to try to get a complete surround on them. Their heavy spear guards decided to walk outside of their castle for some reason and pretty much decided to murder themselves and die to my arrows. We're going to rear charge this unit right here. We get these archers to fire on these spear guards right here and uh yeah this should be over shortly
even while surrounded these jan sword guards are going to be very very beefy were my men even attacking i'm not even sure they were attacking over there there's a lot of arrows oh my god trebuchets what are you doing hold back i thought my trebuchets ran out of ammo they were inching forward Go capture the gatehouse real fast. Um, yeah, flaming shot. I finally have flaming shot. Here, shoot this. Uh, shoot this tower real fast for me. Oh, that was a lot of fire arrows very quickly. Holy crap. Man, the Jan sword guard units are just so beefy. Like, look at this. Look at how surrounded they are. And they're still just fighting on. They're surrounded by four units of Jan sword guards. Are you fucking kidding me? There we go. There's a little bit of you know, the fire arrows are actually pretty nice. They gave a little bit less morale there and make them flee a little bit sooner. Like the little extra push they needed to just go away. There we go. The G infantry captain is refusing to flee, of course. Um, see, is this barricade burning at all? Yeah, the barricade is down. So we can go send my Jan sword guards that way to go kill the G infantry. We'll go send these archers as well to help finish them off. Oh, I need to. I actually need to hunt down this uh, Jan sword guard because they. Yeah, I knew. I knew it. They actually came back. It's not even that the Jan sword guards are so strong. It's just that they never die. That's their issue. Almost like army losses have taken over. Yeah. Okay. So they're about. That's it. GG. A lot less losses than if they'd let the AI take it over. Look at this. This fire is a roaring, man. Nice victory. Took over a very large city from the Kingdom of Wu. Peeled off another piece of the territory. As for how much damage I just did to them, that's another question. I do not know. But, and I think that's going to have to end it for this episode. That's going to be the, the final point. 186 losses. I if I had if I had taken medium losses, I would have taken like at least like 500. I think at least that. All right, so we now own Changsha, which is another imperial city. And uh, wow, Kingdom of Wu is not looking nearly as impressive as they once were, were they? I mean, they're still a very large faction, but uh, yeah, Kingdom of Wu is. Uh, they're bleeding out. They're bleeding pretty good. And thankfully, they're, I think when I when I fought against Kingdom of Wu in my previous campaign, I think uh, I think their their thing was like all the way down here. It took me forever to get to. But it looks like they're not that far from me. Um, so that's pretty interesting. And yeah, nobody wants shit from me. But yeah, anyway, uh, the campaign continues. Uh, some crazy battles this episode. Uh, in the past episodes, it's been pretty wild. Uh, next turn, we're probably going to see if they're going to come out and fight me at Yangzhou. Uh, we still have to go retake Dong. This situation in the north, we've still got a lot of armies from the Duchy of Song. I don't know how they can afford it. A lot of armies from them, though. And uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I never know. I feel like I never know what to expect in this campaign. Who is, uh, oh, who is this person? Peace. I don't know who they are, but they really don't want peace. 
Um, they want nothing to do with me. They also want no nobody wants anything to do with me right now, pretty much. Anyway, yeah, I really should. Uh, I really should call this an episode. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out. Let's go ahead and save our game. Hey, I think there were no audio crashes this entire episode. Let's uh, save our game. It was a long episode though. Right, it's a, these are long episodes because we're getting close to the end. Um, hello? Did I save or not? Anyway, there we go. Uh, saved our game. Uh, you can see just how large my territory is at this point. We are uh, certainly entering the end game of this campaign. We're in the end game now, so to speak. Yeah, large swaths of territory. Really, the only holdouts are Cow Cow, who is bleeding fast. Kingdom of Wu, which is a lot smaller than it was. And then the Northeast, which is like a real pathetic hodgepodge. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, appreciate you guys sticking with the Yuan Shu campaign. Almost done. Almost done. Uh, thanks, guys. Bye.